Hey everyone, I have a book today called Blue Willow, A Coloring Book Story. This is by Patty Vidalia. Um, this book was sent to me for my review. Um, it is a stunning book. Let me just say that right off the bat. It is really heavy duty um, book. Nice weight to it. Um, this is the illustrator, Patty Vidalia. She apparently, there's a story, of, you know, she tells her story. She one day dropped her china, the blue willow china pattern. Everybody's seen it, the blue and white. I actually have some pieces myself. Um, she dropped it one day, and when she was picking up the pieces, she thought how beautiful the little pieces were. So she started making jewelry and pendants and different things out of it. And then, um, that's when she started making this coloring book that's when she decided to um you know add this blue willow type um to her designs so it is really really beautiful there's a really sweet and kind of sad love story that goes along with this um i'm not gonna read it all to you but um it is a beautiful story and when i first started reading through the book you'll notice all of these doves and the doves are uh, a very intricate part of the story and you if you read through the whole book you'll see why at the end but um it is really a beautiful book it was really well well done um they are single-sided they perforate it which is great it is really heavy duty nice paper they have i don't know if you can tell but they have a little bit of a shine to them um to me these papers would be just wonderful for markers this is definitely going to be some marker paper right here i mean you could use anything of course but i think this paper would just be lovely with your markers so um let's get started flipping she starts off with her story it's a you know a once upon a time type where there's a king there's uh, his daughter and she marries somebody that the father doesn't like basically um, and then we just go through and you can just see the line art is so pretty um this book is definitely not for beginners there are some parts some pages a couple that maybe beginners could do but this is intricate this is some really beautiful work right here and you'll see the blue widow will sorry blue willow um, pattern throughout the entire book and there's a lot of mandalas I don't do a lot of mandalas but this book is so beautiful um, I would definitely try these these are frame worthy I mean and the paper quality is so good and heavy you could definitely frame these like see this one I would say this one could be definitely a beginner this is just so pretty and here's those doves again Have more of the story we have the doves again I mean the pages are so I just they're just so beautiful it reminds me of another company I won't say the name who is out right now um, the paper is a lot like um, another company that we've seen um, they have the spiral on top that's all I'm gonna really say but their paper is really really nice quality heavy duty we got another mandala this one's got the doves and hearts right here and they all have borders which I really like squared off or they got the circle this is a page where the princess marries her guy um, she actually married um, the gardener and the butterfly is just gorgeous willow tree and this butterfly I mean this oh this page is so it would take a long time to do but it would be worth it it's just beautiful and then we have a bigger butterfly and then this goes on to tell you how they escaped and the king is chasing them and they go over this bridge and they find a hidden cottage where they live happily for some time you know we've got this beautiful place where they're living the river 
with the beautiful teacups, and there's the doves again, and their little fishing boat. Isn't this mandala gorgeous? I absolutely love it. It's just stunning. Beautiful. It would work perfect with gel pens. And it's just saying how they sailed their little ship to a secluded island. There's your little boat. I love, I think this is one of my favorite pages. The little Zentangle and the cat with the doves here. And the little house and oh, the trees. It's just stunning. I love this mandala also. It's very different. And then um, this page, they, um, the Duke, who she jilted, I forgot about that, she jilted, um, the Duke ran away with the gardener, and he found out about where they were, and he wanted revenge, so he sent out his soldiers to drive them from their beautiful forever home. Seahorses, and then we got the doves here. This mandala is gorgeous. We've got the doves again. Really, really beautiful page here. Another mandala. Wow. It's beautiful. This is all doves. And then the heart in the middle. I think after a while, to me, this would get tedious. The same pattern over and over and over again of the dove. Okay, and then the angels transform the lovers into a pair of doves. Let me go put another mandala here. They're all lovey dovey. And here are the lovebirds again. The Zentangle. And I love how you have the thinner lines and then you got the thicker lines. Here are the doves on the blue willow china. And then here we go, we got um, some pages of ornaments. Um, there are a couple that I will do. Um, some of them are just a little tedious. I don't know if I would do all of them. They have all of the items that you will need to finish them. They got all the directions that tells you how to do them, how to cut them out. It gives detailed instructions. Um, really, really cute. Even if you had a tile, they just wanted to help you in color. They could just color this. It doesn't matter if they go off the lines or whatever. Because you're going to cut it anyway. And then it shows you here what it, the finished product will look like. Put some ribbon on there. The little babies will have a great time. This one's really pretty. This is a feather ornament. I love, love, love this one. I'm definitely going to do this one. The owl. And then it comes out like that. I'll put that with my little owl collection I got going over here. And then we have the three-sided fish ornament. The pagoda ornament. This one's a four-sided one. And then we get the angels. This would be beautiful for Christmas. If you could color that and hang it up somewhere. I know this book has nothing to do with Christmas, but the angels, they're just beautiful. And then you got the blotter page. You can tear this out and put it between if you're using your markers or watercolors or whatever. And then she's got a test page. You can try here to test the different shades or whatever. Or just use the entire page. And that's it. And you've got the back of the book. And like I said, this is a really heavy, heavy book. It's it's pretty big. Um pleasantly surprised at how gorgeous this is. It is really stunning. And like I said before, um, this paper quality is not 100% like um, the other company I was telling you, the company that's got the spiral at the top, but it is really close. It, the pages are really, really close. It's got the same shine. It's got the same texture not quite as thick I would say but um gorgeous gorgeous book I really really love it all right I appreciate you watching thank you so much and I will put a link to where you can purchase this book and um, please give me a thumbs up and a like I would really appreciate it thanks a lot bye bye